Oh, it was just me. He was just possessed me, absolutely possessed me. And probably my fault in a way, making such a baby of him and then having another baby 20 months later. And Dominic had to um, be pushed aside a little. Well, this is the Fox family, and what we know is that there's five of them. Uh, that's mother, father, and three boys. Uh, the youngest is 11. The middle one's, I think, about 13. And the oldest, roughly 15. And the concern is about Dominic, the middle one. Sometimes he even said he wouldn't have minded not having any brothers. <laughs> Being an only child. But, and yet, he wants all his family. He, he gets very concerned if someone's out too late. He, he loves it when we're actually all together. And Mrs Fox rang up to say, in her words, that um, he has the middle child syndrome, by which she meant that at times he um, refuses to go to school and gets very anxious when she goes out. I went round to my cousin's a year ago and um, he didn't want me to go. So he came and sat on the doorstep all evening. He wouldn't come in. Oh, dreadful times we've had. Let's think about why now. The three questions we always ask. Why worry, why now, what for? Before we go in. I suppose it's something to do with this boy getting into puberty, adolescence, leaving home. He makes me so cross. Lately, I find that I, I don't say anything. I ignore him. I think we'll just ignore him completely. And then I get mad with the others. Are you saying that if we find out that he, like many taxi drivers, works all hours God gives him, that the panic about these leaving is worse because she will have nobody? Yeah. So keeping the family together is the function of the symptom, as usual. I just wonder if he's ever going to leave home. It's good to see you. Uh, I have a few things to explain before we get started. I mean, apart from all this, which we're all nervous about, I guess, we always...